Hello guys, this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. Hope everyone is enjoying my tutorial. So in this tutorial, this is my first you know, uh, drafting example. So I'm going to show you how we can uh, enter into a drafting and how we can make um, you know dimensions and everything. So now as you can see here, this is a simple block which is having uh, holes and uh, we can able to give some dimensions for this and as well as some GDNT symbols. So now you can see here, this is a drawing for this. So as you can see we have some datums and dimensions and also we have this uh, you know gdnt symbols so we are going to give this uh, you know uh, uh, all the dimensions and everything in drafting so let us go into a uh, drafting workbench so here what i will do is i will just hit ctrl shift d so in nx what happens is the whatever you can see here this is a dot prt file so the model is existing in this dot prt file once you hit ctrl shift d it will take you to a drafting workbench where you can do a drafting in the same file so this is how it works there is no extra uh, you know part drawing file you just need to create you don't need to create it so we can just hit ctrl shift d now so so as soon as I click um, you know, Control Shift D, uh, it will take you to a um, drafting workbench. So as you can see here, it is uh, asking me to select a sheet. So these things are already explained in my tutorial. So you can just go there and uh, check out how this works. So I'm going to select A4 and I'll just click OK. So now uh, this is the sheet which is an empty sheet we have got here. So now what I will do is I'll just close this and I'll just put a border for this. So now we'll go to drafting tools and uh, you can see the borders and zones. So go to borders and zones and I'll just keep as it is and I'll just click OK. So this will enter a border for this. So now as you can see here this is a border for us for our drawing. So straight away as you can see here uh, we have one uh, base view here and then there is a projected view or it may be a uh, right view or left view. So we can draw this and then we'll try to give the dimensions. So I'll just uh, go to base view here. So base view you can see here this is uh, my base view and I'll just click top view and then uh, now uh, I'll just give the projected view along this. Okay, so now uh, only the, these two views are required for us. So I'll just close this and now we have a multiple, you know, uh, dimensions here uh, we need to give before giving your dimensions. As you can see here, there is a center line which will, you know, um, have all the access to these uh, all four uh, holes. So what we can do is uh, I'll just uh, go to center line here and I'll just select this center line and this center line. There will be a line apply and this center line, this center line, there will be a line and similarly like this you can draw a lines here okay so now as you can see all the uh, you now center lines are developed so now let me give a dimension by one by one as you can see here this is 91.2 between these two uh, circles so now let me go to dimensions here linear dimensions and i'll just select this point to this point so it is 91.2 and but this is a basic dimension so in order to give a basic dimension so you can go to this uh, symbol here and you can just select this okay so now uh, this is uh, 91.2 and let us see what are the other dimensions so this is 16 and this is 45.6 in the same way uh, i'm going to give 16 as uh, between these two this point uh, it is 16 and let me give this over here and also between this point to this circle it is 45.6 okay so you don't need to worry on this uh, whatever the border we have here so this is just a border when you uh, you know export it to a pdf or when you print a drawing uh, you, you it will not, you will not be able to see this uh, you know border so you don't need to worry uh, whether you are drawing dimensions everything anything is coming over this uh, border so you don't need to worry on that okay so the next dimensions we have is uh, 20 over here 14 over here and 40 over here so i'll just uh, give those dimensions as well so go to linear dimensions again and between this point to this point it is uh, 14 and let me give it as this okay and now let me give this over here okay and now uh, between uh, this circle to center line it is 20 mm so all the dimensions are uh, basic dimensions over here okay so let me make it as a basic dimension here and let me give this over here okay so now you can just make 
associative with this dimension so as soon as you do associative with this dimension now you can see if you move this dimension along with this uh, this move the dimensions also moves so if you drag it out so it will also come out so that is what the meaning of associative so whenever you are placing the uh, dimensions you can make it and you can keep it okay so now the distance between these two circles uh, dimension is uh, 40 so we can just give this dimension as 40 and this is also a basic dimension so go here and change it to basic and click here okay so now uh, if you see our drawing so maybe all the dimensions are done so now we need to provide a datum so now as you can see here is the a datum and b and c datum so we can just provide these uh, datums so how we can queue you can see here datum feature symbol so we can go to here and now uh, select a no terminating object and this is my object and here is a a okay so then we have a b so i'll just enter b as a letter here and go to this object and i'll select this line so this is our b so now as you can see here it is again going to uh, associative with this so as soon as you 14 is moved down uh, even the you know whatever the datum feature we have that will also move so i don't want to make it as a you know associative so i'll just give you here and i'll just move it up so okay and now uh, we have an uh, datum feature for this as a C. So let us go to datum feature here and hit C and terminating object. So this is my terminating object. Okay. So now I'll just fit this and now you can see uh, these are the dimensions we got. So now uh, we are left with only these two uh, control uh, feature control frames. So this is one and this is the another one. So first we'll just provide a dimensions. So now as you can see here, this is 22.2 plus or minus 0.1. So let us queue that. So go to radial dimension now and select this dimension. And now as you can see here, our dimension is coming along the, like this. So we don't want like this. So as you can see here, there are, there are options here. So you can see the radius is given and the diameter is given over here. And now let me choose this as over the hill and now so now what i will do is i'll just go to settings so now our dimension should be uh, like this so the leader should break here and it goes to horizontal and then we have to give this dimension so for that what i will do is i'll just go to settings here so in the settings uh, you can see the line and arrow line here so let us see arrow head and which is out so i'll just giving it as an out and then okay and then uh, what else is there so we'll just go to this text and orientation so here the orientation i'm going to select this orientation on this okay so now i'll just close this so now as you can see here our dimension has come okay so this is 22.2 and we also have uh, you know um, the tolerance here which is plus or minus one so let us go to tolerance over here so sorry this is the tolerance so plus or minus one so let me give point one here okay so this is what we have you can just click okay so now once this is done uh, you cannot give the feature control frame inside the dimensions though this is different uh, command and this is different command so once the dimension is given uh, diameter of 22.2 plus or minus 0.1 so now we'll provide this whatever the con uh, feature control frame we have so let us me go so let me go to feature control frame over here and we have a position and let me give a position here and then there is a diameter 0.2 okay and we also have a modifier so let us give a modifier here and now we have a datum a and then secondary datum which is a d secondary datum is d I don't understand why they have given a D here. So let us assume it as a B and give the modifier. So let us assume it as B and give modifier here. Okay. 
so now uh, now as you can see here this is uh, now once you go nearby this dimensions it will show the box it means uh, it will be you know associative with the dimensions so now i'll just click ok so now uh, it will be associative with uh, the dimension so now whatever the uh, dimension that is given is correct it is point 0.2 so yeah so now it is done so you can see here if you move this uh, entire thing will move along with the dimension so now uh, we have one more uh, feature control frame over here as you can see here so we need to give a uh, 12.5 mm uh, diameter and other things so let us go to again same diameter here and select this so now we need to go to settings and then go to orientation here and keep this orientation over here and this should be over okay so okay either you can give overhead or else we can also give this hmm. okay <clears throat> So now what we can do is uh, just uh, you know now there are four numbers so we need to manually provide here four x okay 12.5 diameter and we have a tolerance of plus or minus 0.3 okay so this is what the dimension we have so we can just click okay so now we have a data you know uh, feature control frame here so let me give this feature okay i think the d is defined over here so it means that this is a d is correct so we'll just change it so let me go to change it here and we can just give this as a d okay so it is updated now so now uh, let me give a feature control frame and here as well there is a position and then um, diameter of 0.4 and we also have a modifier then a and then it is b and tertiary datum reference as c so this is what we have in the drawing so let us go to create a box here okay so now as you can see here in our drawing so position diameter of 0.4 modifier and a b c b should not have a modifier so let us go to here and remove the modifier okay close it so now for this datum feature they have given as a datum d so let us go to datum feature here and u d and one more thing i just wanted to clarify you guys that uh, this is just a practice model so don't go in in depth into a technical so now uh, let me select the object here so this is my object and click ok so now as you can see here our uh, whatever the drawing that is required is already completed so this is how uh, you can make the drawing guys so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i'll try to answer thank you guys